five projects in Asia-Pacific are being awarded Wholesome Awards Acknowledgement Prizes of equal value. The projects are presented in alphabetical order. A Wholesome Awards Acknowledgement Prize goes to the project Between Walls, Community Medical Center and School in Tatiba, Baraibura by Madhusudan Kalasani and a team of architects of MADE in Hyderabad. The community center in Tatiba Baraibura includes a residential school for 400 students, a vocational training program and medical center for 14 villages in the West Siobhum district in India. The project is financed by a mining company as part of its social responsibility program. Local rough laterite stone is used as the main building material of the four parallel walls that comprise the building's load-bearing structure. A light roof made of industrialized steel ensures shading and a natural ventilation. The Wholesome Awards jury is highly impressed by the elegance of the structure. Straightforward means are put to work to form a highly adaptable system of walls, openings, access routes, open courts and indoor as well as outdoor spaces. These elements are all assembled according to the rules of time-honoured architectural principles, a building both traditional in the way it is made and modern in its appearance. Our next Wholesome Awards Acknowledgement Prize goes to the project High Tech Low Tech Sustainable Research Centre featuring traditional woodworking methods in Kyoto by Benoit Jacquet of Afeo in Kyoto and Manuel Tarditz of Mikan in Yokohama. The École Française d'Extrême Orient holds an extensive library in a new building in Kyoto. The narrow site is surrounded by neighboring buildings on three sides. Equipped with the most advanced technological features, the structure offers a prime example of sustainable development in modern construction. As a complementary measure, time-honored Japanese woodworking methods were deployed, allowing the building to be erected rapidly. The Wholesome Awards Jury considers the project to be an ideal example of how to combine high-tech and low-tech construction in contemporary building practice. The structure merges modern state-of-the-art technology with traditional artisanship, bringing the old and the new together requires a specific sensibility based on an understanding of architecture as a form of research. While looking at history, future solutions are sought, an approach that adheres to the fundamental mandate of the institution as a research centre. Another Wholesome Awards Acknowledgement Prize goes to the project In Situ Network, palm tree branches for coastal protection in Kiribati by Mai Plemenitas of Link Scale and architect Anna Abrams from London. Kiribati in the Pacific Ocean is one of the world's most vulnerable nations to the effects of climate change induced sea level rises. In this project, palm tree branches are used as a simple measure to respond to the imminent threat of coastal erosion. Inserted into the sand, the spoon-shaped branches constitute an ideal barrier, causing sea currents to slow down and deposit sand material into the concave inner surface of the leaf branch. The resulting sand gradually elevates coastline embankments. The Wholesome Awards jury commends the ingenuity and simplicity of this proposal, a small-scale solution for a large-scale problem where the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Also appreciated are the beautiful drawings of stunning geometric patterns of branch network assemblies, all derived from scientific data. A 
Our next Wholesome Awards Acknowledgement Prize goes to the project Mega City Skeleton – Stakeholder Participation for Urban Upgrading in Jakarta by Tomohiko Amemiya of Unity Design in Tokyo with teams of academics and students from Indonesia and Japan. This project is a two-step micro-intervention to upgrade informal settlements in megacities and to avoid slum clearance by authorities due to the lack of hygienic living conditions. Planned as a participatory initiative, narrow spatial voids are first introduced within high-density residential areas to bring air and light into the building fabric of the neighborhood. In a second step, a flexible and temporary wooden envelope structure, or skin, is added to the house, which residents can customize freely. The Wholesome Awards jury commends the dual approach to upgrading informal settlements. Whereas the first step falls in the domain of the collective, the second step addresses individuals and their specific needs. Recalling Le Corbusier's domino open plan frame, this project explores an extension of the model's evolution. It adapts the formalized Corbusian structure to the needs of informal communities, with a particular emphasis on stakeholder participation as a fundamental principle of collective living. A further Wholesome Awards Acknowledgement Prize goes to the project Resurrected Canals – Urban Water Transport System in Bangkok by Santi Sombachiwaton and a team of architects of DI Designs in Bangkok. This concept offers an answer to the notoriously congested traffic conditions in Bangkok. It proposes to revive the ancient canals of the city to create a modern network of waterways and to supplement the existing metropolitan rapid transit system. A train-to-boat transfer station and pier will be built as a prototype to be positioned along various intersections of canal lines and rail stations. The development of water transport will not only reduce commuting time for residents, but also provide social services at key locations. This major infrastructure project will also introduce flood control and pollution reduction measures. The Wholesome Awards jury appreciates the bold vision of the project, particularly its aim to rehabilitate a historic city network. Furthermore, the idea to combine technical exigencies with social needs is an excellent feature that reclaims infrastructure as residing in the public domain and being an important matter of concern for all. The Wholesome Foundation congratulates the laureates for their exceptional projects and is pleased to present the five Wholesome Awards Acknowledgement Prizes 2014 for Asia Pacific Now. Yeah.